Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode four. I th yeah, episode four of Let's Play Portal 2. I am streaming once again on Twitch. This is the single player campaign. We're continuing from where we left off. And with me is my friend Dalton. Say hello. Hello. A few notes as we're beginning. I finished the Fallout 3 review. I may have said that last time. I don't remember if I did. But I finished the Fallout 3 review. It's 100% done, ready to be uploaded to the channel. Hell yeah. So, but it, that does not go up on the channel until October 28th, because that is the 10th anniversary of the game's release in the United States. So, in the meantime... In the meantime, we can do this. Uh, yeah. Let's play. Yeah, we can work on this let's play, and I posted a video up on... Um, I posted a, a poll, rather. up on the, uh, the the Facebook page asking what you guys want me, what Doom Dog review you guys want me to do in the meantime. I was originally going to do it between three games. Those three games were the first Call of Duty, Medal of Honor, and uh, Halo. Yeah, Medal of Honor and Halo. I guess we have one out of two that were on the poll. Yeah, the two that were on the poll wound up being... Um, Medal of Honor and Halo, because for some reason on a page you cannot do... a poll with three options. I don't know why that is. Yeah, it's kind of stupid. Very unnecessary rule on their part. Yep. I, I don't get it, but... Typical suck for ya. Yep. It's two of them. It's, uh... Try to get the other two. But Halo 1, so I have started a playthrough of that on my gameplay channel. I've got four episodes of it uploaded so far. In case you're curious, I am playing the original Xbox version, recorded on an original Xbox. Running it through my uh, component HDMI upscaler, so the gameplay footage is in 720p. Hell yeah, can't beat that. Wonder how the PC version looks. Um, the PC version is kind of an interesting idea. It's um, I was I was about to bring that up. There's is a PC version, and I guess depending upon who you ask, it looks either better or worse. Because it um, it's lacking some of the finer graphical details that the original version has, such as water shaders and the like. So some of in that aspect, it does look worse. But the higher resolution and the additional graphical options are uh, nice and does create a sharper image overall. So it's like a toss-up on which one people think looks better, I suppose. It just depends on your preference on the finer details of the graphics, I guess. Yeah. And just using a mouse and keyboard for an FPS would be just a lot better in general. Yeah, it is. 
but I'm playing the original Xbox version because that's the that's you know the version of Halo. The, yeah, that's what I was thinking. That, that, that's what I was. I was thinking about playing the PC version originally first, and then I was like, nah, I should just play the original Xbox version the way yeah. it was meant to be played. Although so I would not recommend playing it on an Xbox 360 because it has um, uh, uh, frame rate issues that are not present on the original. Oh, okay. God damn it, I will get this. I will kill you. This, right, killing this guy would be so much easier with uh, a second player, because they could just pick the cube up and aim it. Yeah, I know, right? I'm playing through it on normal, just so you know, like, I'm not trying to do some kind of super hardcore, like, play through it on the hardest difficulty kind of thing. Yeah, that's how I am too. When I was a kid, I used to play on easy on all my games, and now I play on normal. Usually. Oh, wait. I have a... I can aim the beam. If I'm not dumb about it. It just... Uh, it just fucking don't... It's like, oh wait, I've got a cube, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> Happens to the best of us. Gladys is humming Pop Goes the Weasel. <laughs> Gladys did nothing wrong. I mean, she killed except, people. Except a lot of things, but... <laughs> except that. Yeah, she's like a funnier showdown. But there's also a X there's also it the Xbox 360 remake made for the 10th an anniversary of it. it doesn't say what oh, the, the Master before. Chief collection? No, not well, the Master Chief oh, collection. Oh, the, uh, oh. the anniversary edition for the 360. Oh, okay. It's um it's stuck somewhere between being a remaster and a remake because the sound was left alone. The animation was left alone. But the graphics were upgraded. How much of an overhaul was the the one in the Master Chief one? It looks a hell of a lot better than the original does. Because yeah, I remember seeing footage of that, and it, oh man, it looked a lot better. It almost looked like a remake. Yeah, the, the uh, Master Chief, the, the one on the. The one on the uh, Xbox 360
looks like a remake, but the animation is completely original. Everything is left alone except the graphics. And what they essentially did was they added a second engine on top of the engine that runs the original game, capable of producing much more pretty graphics. So they just built new graphics on top of the old one. Which ultimately kind oh, yeah. of results in... Uh, what the fuck is wrong with my mouse? The uh, animation seeming really, really dated, because it's left alone while you get these pretty new graphics with animation that isn't up to the standards at the time. So, yeah, that, that will be kind of weird. Yeah, it is. I can see how that would take away from it. You think I forgot about your surprise? There we go. I didn't. In fact, we're headed to I your figured it out. right now. So I, I will be talking about the Master Chief I'm Collection. I will be talking about the uh, the version for the Xbox 360. I will be talking about the PC port. I can't do the Master Chief Collection version, which is the Xbox 360 version, with a number of tweaks and improvements and better better frames per second. Yeah. Because I do not own an Xbox 360 yet. Or an Xbox One yet. Yeah. So I'm going to have to leave that out of the... Uh... Initiating surprise in three, two... Like whenever you can find a cheap ass Xbox One. I made it all whenever up. that may be. Yeah, I am saving to get one surprise. right now. I want to get an Xbox One X. Oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you. God, what is that? Oh, shit. Where is the cube? I bet that, yeah, that's gonna launch it, isn't it? Shit. Okay. Okay. Okay, I got it. Alright, let's see if I can't destroy that guy. Alright, motherfucker. Here we go. Got him. Awesome. Got him. I 
I knocked it out of alignment. God damn it. But I, I will leave a link to the description in the description below to where you can watch my left play channel, my uh, gameplay channel. I feel awful about that surprise. Tell you what, let's give your parents a call right now. So you guys can. Parents, you are trying to reach. Do not love you. Please hang up. Oh, there we go. But impressive. Maybe they worked at the phone company. I will put a link in the description below for you guys to go to my gameplay channel to watch my playthrough of Halo, which I've completed the first four parts, so that's the first four levels of it, so, um, Pillar of Autumn, Halo, Hey, how's it going? Uh, I taught my way onto the old Nanobot work crew, rebuilding the show. Silent Cartographer and I know, Jerry. No, uh, Truth and Reconciliation. What is that buzzing? That's goddamn annoying. Do you hear it? Dude? Not sure. Uh, you know the old I hear it buzzing so. in the background. I hope that I hope it's not um, fucking recording that because that piss is annoying. For a while, so I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math. I forgot just how much she talks in this game. Oh yeah, that's for sure. So I need to go over there and get that. Destroy this camera because I can. Hell yeah, why not? Okay. I got two of them. Knock it down. Yes, that knocked it down. Okay. There we go.
Okay, so I have three of them. Okay, that's how I'm supposed to get up here with the, the cube. Okay. I get it now. You should get it. Should get it now. Launch it up there. Yep, that does. Okay. The cube is where I need to be. Need it to be. Let's launch this here. Let's pick this up, and this should do it. That should open the door. I did not see those guys. <laughs> oh shit, what the fuck? You see that? Yeah. I did not see them. Sneaky little bitches. Other than that, yeah, I figured it out. <laughs> should be able to get it done pretty quick now. Yep. This should do it. There we go. Got it. I thought about our dilemma, and I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. Let's go to the next one. Um, I will be eventually getting to all three of those games. I want to do a lot of the Call of Duty games. I want to do, especially the early ones, some of the uh, more obscure ones, uh, the ones that people forgot about, like Call of Duty Finest Hour. Oh, hell yeah, that was my first one I ever played. And Call of Duty Big Red 1, which is a vast improvement Federal over Finest Hour. Me to oh, yeah. Next test chamber get, to fight the, get to fight the Italians in that one. Yeah. That's right. I don't get to do that too often. It's completely operational again. Uh, and I want to do Call of Duty Final Fronts, which... The very existence of that game baffles me. Oh, which one's that? Call of Duty World at War Final Fronts. It's, um... Oh, that's the PS2 version, right? Yeah, it's a PS2 game. Oh.
it's a PlayStation 2 game, and it was developed as like a companion piece to um, to, World of, to World of War. Yeah, to World at War. It was developed by uh, Rebellion, who I think that does it. Yep, um, who is best known for the Alien vs. Predator franchise back in the day. I think these test chambers. So it's developed by a company that knows what they're doing. It was easy, really. But you its very existence baffles me because it's a main. It, this was after Call of Duty the became path. the biggest franchise in the fucking world. Because uh, it did that with, uh, what was 2007 was? Yeah, I think so. Modern Warfare? Yeah, sounds about right. It did that with Modern Warfare, and then World at War came out, and they're like, let's put time. one on the PlayStation 2. Like Which, time. it was 2008 when that happened, so why does it exist? Consequences. And real because that was around the time it was time to, to move on the oh, next generation, and they get the sixth gem behind. Yeah, so I think a lot of people don't even know it exists because it was specifically because it was a PlayStation 2 game. Yeah, very easy for the something like that to get lost in the long run. I heard it wasn't that great from what I heard anyway. I own it. Beyond that, I can't tell you. I have played. I played one level of it. And I just killed myself. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. I played one level of it, and I uploaded that to my gameplay channel, and that's all I've done. I've got a surprise for you after this. But I want to review it because Not I don't think fake. anybody else I even has. Like last time. Well, I mean, a I look. I found other people with playing tragic it. Tragic consequences and real confetti this time. The good stuff. Our last battle. But not like a full-fledged, like in-depth re review. At the end of the day, yeah. It was just what's going on. Who turned off the lights? Hey, buddy. I'm speaking in an accent that is beyond her range of hearing. Look, Metal Ball, I can hear you. Run! I have <laughs> to do the voice. Run! Run! Come on! Come on! Run! Come on! I'm closing the door. Okay, quick recap. We are escaping. All right, that's what's happening now. We're escaping. Uh, so you're doing great. Just keep running. Uh, quick word about the future plans that I've got in store. We're gonna shut down her turret production line, all right? Turn off her Neuro Thompson and then confront her. Again, though, for the moment, run! Yeah, keep moving, I keep forgot moving. this is the puzzle where you, where you escape. Oh, yeah. Where Wheatley comes in and turns off the, uh... The the last test. Here it is. Why don't you just do it? Trust me. It's an easier way out than whatever asinine plan your friend came up with. Thing you would do. Oh, here we go. I remember this. You can go over and fall for a trap. Yeah. I don't think I've ever gone that way. I don't know what happens if you go that way. So I think like... I did. Yeah, if you go over there and press the button, like, the walls, like, all fall down and then you just die, die basically. That sounds like something uh, GLaDOS would do. I'll call this episode after we escape. Or, mm, wait. No, I just kind of record for an hour and a half and then divide it to three videos. What 
Shit. Yeah. Can you, can you get out? We have to get you out of there! Try to make your way back out here! I heard gunfire! It's a bit late, but uh, look out for gunfire. Probably doesn't help at this point, but uh, I haven't used one. Yes, I'm aware that there is gunfire. Now, I don't remember where the fuck I'm supposed to be going. Um, I mean, I, I got through that. Okay. I need to look for a place where I can shoot a portal. There we go. You're okay? Great, come on. This way, this way. <laughs>